Hi everybody, welcome to Rider Skills. This is my new screen that I've got from Eagle Screens in Western Australia. Now, I'm in Australia, so that might have swayed my buying decision a little, but a bit of online research has given me a little bit more confidence in my buying decision. The current screen on the GS has lived about seven years in what is claimed to be the hottest, driest state in the hottest, driest continent in the world. It's starting to bloom. It's developed a few yellowish tints and damage is there. It's a harsh environment it's lived in, so it's not surprising that it's starting to appear a bit crap, to be, to be blunt. Um, and no amount of polish or elbow grease has been able to improve its appearance. Uh, so I was definitely due an upgrade. And despite living in this hot, harsh environment, we do suffer, I suppose, a cold winter. And I'm getting soft in my old age. So I've decided to go large, a bit bigger. Yeah, BMW do supply a larger screen. But I'd rather have to pay a premium for a BMW part. And it's not that bigger than the standard one. I don't think I'd want to pay a decent amount of wedge for what might not be that much better. So I've gone after market. Now, first impressions. Let's have a look. Not a blemish in sight. Now this is, as I said, from Eagle Screens in Western Australia. Got it today. I'm quite excited. It's going to be a great addition to my bike, I hope. It's clearly handcrafted. And I'll, the reason I know that is there's no manufacturing marks on it at all. Not a part number. Nothing at all. Not, not a, an embossment of any sign as to where it's come from. Perspex looks great. And it appears optically correct, even around the bends. Doesn't give a odd view. The edges are polished up beautifully. Be interesting to see how it fits. Now, as I said, I could have bought BMW. I'd have paid a lot of money. I've paid about $200 for that, approximately. Plus a bit of postage and packing. Uh, that's the 440mm touring version for the GS. So what I'm going to do... First impressions are good. What I'm going to do is fit it. I'm sure what it looks like on the bike. Okay, and there she is. Five minutes that's taken me to install, including the removal of the old one. Uh, all the holes lined up nicely. And uh, she's ready to go. The next stage then, of course, will be to... Uh, Give it a try. So we'll take it out for a spin and see how it performs on the road. And as if by magic, here we are. New screen. First impressions. It reminds me, and I might be pointed out, I might be a bit wrong, but the shape of it at the top end reminds me of the old Honda ST 1100 Pan E. Hmm, possibly. Quite tall. I was advised by, is it John at Eagle Screens? He's the guy I've been emailing back and forth while I made my decision. And he said a lot of people go for the, there's about five different heights. And a lot of people, he said, go for the 440 millimeter one, which is the touring. That's the best seller. And I can see why it's quite a decent compromise but not too low I think I'd be disappointed if it had been any lower I want no buffeting which I'm not going to get I don't think I'll test that out shortly I can still see through it there's no distortion great sign of decent perspex slight bit of vibration which you'd expect there's no struts holding it together but you'd get that on any bike so it's not a, a criticism of the the quality of it when I say a slight bit of vibration, I'm talking when I hit a decent bump, I get a bit of a wobble, as you'd expect. I get that on my forks. I'm not feeling any wind resistance in my shoulders. That sweepy curve, top left, top right, appears just to send the wind around me. Now, motor vlogging might be better. I'm going to try this, obviously, at 60 k an hour. I'm going to do it a bit quicker. But this is visor down with a microphone in my helmet. That's visor up. 
it's quite a windy day. So I'm hoping that you'll still get decent audio. This is at 60 k's an hour, which is what, what, 42, 43 miles an hour in the old money. Mine's about down now. Yeah, not a lot you can say really, other than that uh, it does exactly what it says on the tin. I got a, an email from a company the other day asking me to review their toaster. I don't know how it a day, so I've put a review on. So it's very pretty, thank you, and it does its job. It does brown toast, but how about sending me a request to review it in another 12 months when I can give it a proper review? when I can be reasonably subjective instead of just guessing whether or not it performs very well. So yeah, if, and it's likely I will have, ownership of this bike in another six months, despite the fact that I'd like to get myself a 765 RS tri tr uh, Street Triple from Hinkley, I can imagine I can do another, another, I'll do another review, I'll put my teeth in, I'll do another review on this screen in six months time. And we'll look at the quality, see if it's standing up to the uh, rigors of uh, an Australian winter and spring by that stage. See what the uh, coloration's like. See if it still looks nice. But it's certainly, wind-wise it's good. It's a good height. I am, if I stretch, 5 foot 8, 172.5, I reckon, that's all the difference, centimetres tall, so I'm not the tallest of guys and I do ride an adventure bike, but I don't ride with my feet on the floor so I don't care how tall I am, make up for it in attitude. So yeah, I've gone for the tallish screen, I've got good weather protection there, wind protection, Guys, and uh, it feels pretty good. This is, a, as I say, a 60 k's an hour zone road. I'm going to cruise along here, and I'm going to go onto the freeway in about five or ten minutes, and we'll open it up and get up to about 90, 100. See how it feels at uh, a bit quicker speed. I'm up to about 70 there, so just a smidgen over the speed limit. I'm getting a little bit of wind in my chest area. Leaning forward, no, nah, not really. There's, I'm not 100% protected, but then again, I'm not on a fully fared bike. And I'm wondering whether that wind is being drawn in around these areas here. Now they're cut out, and I should say cut out perfectly for the lock to lock on the handlebars and my back busters, hand protectors as we call them here. If I go left hand down, full lock, I've got about, I reckon, a 12 mil gap between my bars and here, both sides. So the screen is cock on. So that's what them cutouts are for, that's what that shape's for, as much as anything. And they've flared it out a bit, at the top. So that bit of extra, I, said, I would suggest shoulder protection. I, see, I feel no difference whatsoever in, in the screen affecting the handling. Now that might sound a bit of a, a bizarre thing. I almost had a, get this, I had a Wee 125 scooter. as a little commute. Cheapest chips to run. Easy parking. A little 125 four stroke Yamaha. And I bought the Yamaha tall screen for the winter. See, I've ridden everything, me. And uh, I have to say, it massively changed how it felt when you were riding it. 
So having no screen at all, and I'm not talking wind in your face time, I'm talking about how it steered, how it felt as you were riding, it just felt odd, really weird, having a bigger screen. Right, we're coming into a faster road now, just check up that uh, slip road. No, we don't want it to come into my lane now, safe here. Fires are down, nice and quiet. Let's see how it feels at 90. You see, that's, that's a, a real good gauge. It feels absolutely no different to doing 60 k's an hour to 90, 95, 100. So you know it's working, don't you, at that? Because I'm feeling nothing in my chest other than, other than what I was when I was doing 60. My head, no buffeting. all. It's got a side wind here. Interesting, that's not affecting it either. I don't feel any different. Alright, pretty good, I would say. And as I say, I'm going to look at doing another review in six months, and then it can be an honest and maybe, maybe 12, depends how long it is before I get rid of my bike and upgrade. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll be allowed to have two bikes. And here's a couple of pics of the screen on my BMW F800 GS. Thanks for watching my Eagle Screens review. And for more info, head to their website, which is eaglescreens.com.au. Uh, if you like what you saw, uh, give us a subscribe, a like, give us some thumbage, and as always, people, ride safe. See you soon.